Hey, hello everybody. Welcome to another movie talk. And we're here to share a little bit of time with you. Hopefully we'll get some questions and we'll be able to chat about stuff that's a little different from what we usually talk about. I want to start off though with some sad news. I just found out a little bit before the show that the singer Melanie passed away at the age of 76 and they don't have really mm. a cause of death. I, I was fortunate enough to meet her just nine months ago. I went That's to the, right. Yeah. 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 She's very nice. So very nice to, to her fans. It was really nice. And I think Tom was telling us about another loss. Well, director Norman Jewison uh, passed away. I mean, a lot of people know him for uh, uh, the film In the Heat of the Night um, with, uh, you know, Rod Steiger and um, Sidney Poitier. I think one of the important films of the 60s. Um, and he's done other stuff too. I don't have his uh, filmography, but I do have some other stuff that he's directed. He's a producer, director, really important, I think, to the cinema in the '60s, and um, I think he'll be missed. Yes, um, and uh, before, so I mean, I'm looking for topics. I know I'm going to go over right away to, to Tim to start with right away because <laughs> Tim. <laughs> You told me that before we went on that you saw like a few movies since we let, we've last been here. If you want ah, to talk about them, cool. let's start with yeah. that. Well, yeah, and after I'm done, Tom, please do it as well. Um, that I saw I one I've been, yeah. again last year. I spent watching black and white old movies, so this year I'm trying to like actually watch some newer movies that might even be 60s for me, you know. I mean, I'm <laughs> mm, <laughs> but yeah. but um, I'll start with. I had no idea, but I've, I'd heard good things about this. So I watched Charlie Bartlett. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. And this is actually a pretty, I, I, I like this movie, actually. It's, it's you know, mm. it's it's sort of a teen movie, but not really. Um, it, it's, it, it's hard to explain, but it's one of these movies where, you know, the main character, Charlie, right there, he... He, he changes a lot and grows up. And it's very funny. It's very humorous. Coming um, of age. Yeah. I like a good coming of age yeah, uh, he's, movie. He's 17 yeah. when he, you know, and, yeah. and he, he grows up a lot during the course of the movie. It's very funny. Um, or it's got Robert Downey Jr. in it. He's very yeah. good. Um, and um, I'm, if I'm, if yeah, I, I believe forgot her the, last name, Cat. Yeah. Um, I believe the kid. Waitress, I believe the kid. Oh, oh, she can't act. Yeah, <laughs> I believe that the, the main character uh, was also plays um, Chekhov in the uh, those rebooted Star Trek series. I, you know, I knew I knew him from somewhere. <laughs> yeah. So what what yeah, vintage that, are we looking Pat at Danning here? Is is who was in? Um, he, she she was in a bunch of movies, and then she did that TV series, and I don't know that much about her except. I keep seeing these things on YouTube. She'll never work in Hollywood again. Blah blah blah. I don't know what happened. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. this, is, this is a decent movie. I recommend it, and you can pick it up at like Dollar Tree for a buck and a quarter. So, Tim, what what vintage are we talking about with that? This is um, 2007, I think. Oh. Oof. So yeah. for me, well, I applaud movie... you. I <laughs> applaud you for uh, for taking the chance. Yeah, and another even newer movie. Um, what? The book what are you thief. Kidding? Oh, the book thief. Yeah, I've heard this things, things about that. This is great. This is this. Yeah. This should be a classic. Everybody should see this movie. Um, wow. Takes mm -hmm. place in the um. Well, it starts out in the early days, even pre World War Two, and um. Right. You know, it's about that the whole German Jewish thing, you know, and and it's it's and she's really in the books, and that both helps her and gets her into trouble at times, and um, it's it, you know it's very sad. She winds up losing everybody. Not to spoilers, you know, yeah, pretty much spoilers. everybody in her life. <laughs> and, and, um, see it, so. You know, I mean, it's yeah. horrible to see, to, you know, and it's based based on a book which apparently is based on actual events um but you know to 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 know that this stuff happened but to actually see it portrayed on screen is pretty yeah yeah but 
fantastic film. And this actress, I don't even know her name. I should learn people's names. Um, I can't read it. It's Sophie Nell Nelise. She's okay. she's brilliant in this, and Jeffrey Rush is in it. He's really good too. Oh. Um, Jeffrey Rush is usually uh, pretty good in everything he's in. Yeah, no, he's he's really good. Um, so great movie there. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm still not sure what I think of this. Started watching my laser disc that I. Oh, Melvin and Hart. Yeah, I need to get I've that because that it. was also one of uh, Gloria Graham's final uh, film. Oh, film that's. Uh, you know, what's I, I, I saw her in the credits yeah. and I didn't kick her out. I need to watch it again right. to see where, where the heck she was. Is that John Lamette? Right. That's his name, Lamette. Paul Lamette. Paul, I think. Yeah, that's um, the actor in it. <laughs> right. um, American Graffiti. Yeah, and and I, I was so confused by this movie because you know it's I, I get it. It's Melvin and Howard, and Howard's only in it for like ten minutes, and then the most of the right. rest of the movie he's not there. And I'm like, how is this? How is he getting second billing? And you know, Jason Robards, by the way. And you know, and then oh, okay. and then the last sure. half hour of the movie, everything falls apart in this guy's life. Yeah, and start to realize. Okay, now I get it. Now, you know, yeah, Robards is uh, Howard Hughes in the film. Yeah, yeah, Those it's the know. story of it's the Howard Hughes will found will story is what it turns out to be. But I had no idea. I don't I don't read the backs or anything. I just want put the movie in, and generally I'm surprised. I liked yeah, it. Yeah, that's that's not a bad little movie. It's not a bad I little didn't, movie. I didn't love it, but I liked it. And then I knew nothing about yes, this. I just watched this tonight. Just wait your turn, yeah. that's all. <laughs> you know, we trying to I remember seeing first. the poster for that, but I've never seen the movie. Oh yeah, I've heard it's, of that too. I don't know what that is. It's but, uh, it's yeah. interesting. Um I've never been a big Susan Sarandon fan, and that's who stars in it. But she's she's mm. good in it and she's very likable and you like her and she's like one of the very few decent people in this movie. And it, Raul Julia is also in it. Oh yeah, Raul's mm -hmm. good too, yeah. yeah. And um it's 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 yeah, it's about this dentist that gets murdered like not very long after she has an appointment and he's quite the womanizer among other things. And um, you know, she used to be a reporter, so she's trying to figure out who killed this guy and she becomes a suspect because she was one of the last his last patients, and um, Raul Julia plays the the main investigator of the case, okay. and he puts her as a suspect, and then things start to happen between them, and um, it's it's an interesting film. It's you know typical mid eighties film. This is eighty five. Was um was those one of the films you got uh, last week when you were showing? Yeah, yeah. The, these uh, are both films yeah. I got last week. And I'm going to show a few more right now, and then I'm going to hand it over to Tom. Yeah. Oh, right and now? I okay. My, 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 yeah, my <laughs> yeah, camera. Because right. oh, want to see, he's got camera a whole bunch of laser. Huh? Yeah. My coming? camera just stopped. Oh, okay. My camera. Oh, but okay. don't worry. I can, if, I can, if you can still hear me, then keep going. I can yeah. Hear you. yeah, and I I'll, hear you. I'll, just, I'll just show some films while you But uh, These are the ones so? that I left there last week, and I went back, and they were still there. So these are new okay. ones that I just Beverly Hills Cop two two, okay. Which, you know, I I you, you could see why if I was going to leave a few films behind, this might be one of them. Right. <laughs> um. The Taming of the Shrew. Taming of the Shrew. That's uh, Liz and uh, yeah. and Burton. Uh, yeah, Richard Burton. Yep. And, like and, and, yep. I'm just not that yep. interested in this, but it was still there, so I grabbed it. <clears throat> not their um, best movie together, but uh, it's okay. I knew nothing about. I still know nothing about this, but I'm interested. I don't know what that is. Blue. Yeah, it's a William okay. Holden, David Niven film. It's, ah. it's old. I thought it'd be. I thought it was a new film when I looked at it. New work, you know. But no, it's an old film. Well, I don't know like anything it. about it. But you watching that? Air America. Ah, Air America. Yeah. <laughs> Never uh, seen yeah. this, but more more Robert Downey Jr. Apparently, whoever yeah. owns Robert Downey Jr. fan. <laughs> yeah. What's that all about? Does he have less than zero in that pile? Yeah. 
Um, no. I have no idea what this is. Animal behavior. No, I don't remember that one. Picked it up. It's in shrink. You know, it, for a buck, picked it up. I'll watch it. I'll see what it's about. I have no idea. I don't even know who's in it. Oh, Karen Allen's in it. Oh, that's somebody I know. There you go. Can't see the picture too good. But... Oh. Devil in a oh, blue yeah. dress. Oh, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. yep, that's that's my so, favorite genre laser disc right there, right? It's a Criterion Collection. Uh, yeah. yeah. Is it? I didn't even notice. That's your favorite genre. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's my genre. Yeah. Matter of fact, I just bought the Blu ray. Uh, the Blu ray just came out, and I watched yeah. it. It's a really good film. Well, but no, this isn't a Criterion. I'm like, this, I would have noticed. I would have grabbed it if it was. It's, it, this just says uh -oh. why. It's, Deluxe widescreen. This isn't a criterion. There oh, might it's not be one, Okay, yeah. You know, no, I think uh, yeah, I think that was one of the ones uh, Criterion had released so recently. I... Yeah, yeah, but but yeah. this isn't because um, I love Criterion laser discs. Yeah, but that's not. I wouldn't have left it behind. The girl in the swing. I remember when this came out, but I didn't see it at the time. Sure, that's not a dirty movie. No, it's not a dirty movie. <laughs> yeah, that's another thing we gotta watch out for. Oh, yeah, Meg Tilly is these in days, this. Man. And last one I'm gonna show today is I have no idea. Nick Nolte, Deborah Winger, everybody wins. Well, it looks I've heard of but Didn't I have they do no a, idea. another movie together besides that? Legal what? Eagles. Wasn't it the uh, no, not Legal Eagles? Cannery uh, Row, maybe? Cannery maybe. Cannery Row. I don't know. But just, just it looks film noirish. I don't, I don't. Know. I'm gonna try to get to your comments, folks. It's just that we got to get through this segment first. We but, keep so yeah, really aware of that's, the people. that's it. That's yeah. that's what I'm gonna show today. Well, <laughs> thank you, thank you, Tim. Ooh. And I want to see some every time if you, you know, if okay. you have some yeah. more. Yeah. But let's start. Well, I wanted to start with Back Bacon and Beer. Said Academy Awards nominations have been announced. Have you seen any of the best yes. picture, best director nominees? Now, first of all, tell me yes. what's been nominated. I don't think I've seen any <laughs> right. of them. <laughs> all right. So here's the list of best pictures. Okay, American Fiction, which is the Jeffrey Wright movie. I'm oh. going to go see this movie next week. I can't wait. Um, Anatomy of Fall is a foreign no. film, actually, and uh, it's a courtroom drama kind of film. Then you have Barbie, which was the highest grossing film of last year. Uh, the Holdovers, which is Paul G Giamatti, which I think is fantastic. That I would say. Um, there's Killers of the Flower Moon, the Martin Scorsese film with uh, Leo and De Niro. Uh, there's Maestro, which I think is a Nef Netflix film um, about uh, who's the composer um, that I'm, I can't. I can't recall. Someone in the comments school can put it in the comments section. Um, then you have Oppenheimer, which is the odds-on favorite, and which I think is going to win Best Picture. Uh, you have a film called Past Lives, which I really want to see as well. Uh, then you have the movie I just saw today called Poor Things, which is fantastic. It's a visually stunning, great story um, movie that I really enjoyed watching this movie tonight. I really like. Yes, thank you, Leonard Leonard, Leonard Bernstein. Thank you, uh, Rave Sixty Six. Yeah, by the um, time I get and to then, the uh, comment, it'll be 30 yeah. minutes old. <laughs> and then uh, the last film is called The, the Zone of Interest. Uh, so there's 10 movies. I have now seen four of the 10, and hopefully uh, by next week I'll have seen uh, five or six. How about you, so, Tim? I don't want to be the only one that hasn't seen any. No, I haven't seen any of them. Yeah. So, uh, um, right. Yeah. But so we, I mean, we could talk more Oscars later if, if people want to. But uh, but like I said, I did I did see Poor Things today, which is fantastic. Willem Dafoe, Emma Stone, which um, Emma Stone is getting has been gaining a lot of uh, momentum going into the Oscars. Um, it's between her and Lily Gladstone from Killers of the Flower Moon. I think I think Emma Stone might knock her off uh, and win Best Actress uh, for this film. Amazing film. Um, no, I hope, I hope Barbie Barbie will not win Best Picture. Okay, just because it was the highest grossing film, yeah. uh, there's no the way year. that's gonna win. No, they it, always... it Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer is going to win Best Picture, and um, I don't and, even uh, have to see them. Most of the time, I get them right, even when I haven't seen it. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. always the most. Nolan important. Will win, Christopher Nolan will win. Yeah, <laughs> Christopher Nolan will win uh, uh, Best Director as well. Um, yeah, yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of nudity and uh, poor things. Emma Stone really, uh, she really, uh, 
yeah, sacrificed for her, uh, for her art there. Um, I did watch, speaking of Sue, you mentioned Susan Sarandon earlier, Tim. I did watch mm -hmm. uh, The Hunger um, the other day uh, with uh, Catherine Deneuve, David Bowie. Uh, this is Tony Scott's uh, first uh, feature film. Tony Scott is Ridley Scott's brother, um, but he's, he's passed away a few years ago. Um, one of my favorite comedies I completely forgot about that I hadn't watched since the theater. Tropic oh, I Thunder. didn't like that. Uh, I saw that one. Oh, I really, I, like I really enjoy this one. And I then lastly, more out of, out of it. yeah. And lastly, again, for my favorite genre, Criterion, a movie called Lone Star, directed by <laughs> John, uh, John yeah, Sales, hilarious. which is, uh, uh, this is a great uh, film. An early one with uh, Matthew McConaughey, one of his early uh, performances. Chris Christopherson is really good in this. And uh, Chris Cooper is excellent. Uh, but Lone Star, really, really good film from the mid '90s. So, um, and then I did pick up. I did pick up uh, after uh, seeing the Taking of Palin one, two, three. I've been kind of on a Walter yeah, Matthau. Yeah, uh, that was a good one. I like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So I picked up this one, and then I did pick up a uh, an older flick with Cagney and Olivia De Havilland oh, called cool. Strawberry Blonde yeah. and Rita Hayworth. Uh, so I'll be watching this one soon too. So, <sighs> so that's wow. what I yeah, that's what I've picked up and watched recently. Yeah, a lot of people are talking about the passing of Melanie. Yes, we mentioned that at the beginning yes. of the show. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah okay, I'm uh, just trying before. You know, so I have a list of a few things I want to cover. Well, we already covered a couple of them already, Tom's movies and, and laser discs. But I wanted to kind of interject questions in between all our segments. But, you know, it's okay. This yeah. is unrehearsed or anything. I just want to go back up, way up to the top. Um, here's something here. Um, what is this? Okay, uh, movie related. I, I have to reorder the Universal Classic Monsters Complete Legacy box on Blu-ray. I got it today, but the plastic Blu-ray cover across the top of the cases didn't match. Uh, uh, what's that mean? Huh. Tom, I wanted to ask you something. Are they starting to release 4Ks, like Blu-rays, in 4Ks, yeah. but they're not saying Blu-ray on the top? Um, Sometimes they won't say Blu-ray. That sucks. I saw. I was thinking somebody had Mean Streets. They showed. Uh, talk, I saw something. Somebody showed. Right. I think a four talked about a four K Mean Streets, and it just said four K, but it didn't say like right. Blu Ray. Some Criterion thinking, will. Yeah, Criterion when they because they released it in four K, and they did include uh, the Blu Ray in it as well. Okay, Beverly Hills Cop. If, you know, it looks that does he play the grand the grandfather in that? Yeah, I'm not even excited about watching two, let alone four. <laughs> yeah. Uh, by the way, I say I'm a, hello to everybody. Everybody's here, um, including Penny Lane and many others, and Mike, Mikey Tats, and a whole bunch of people. Uh, well, a little, a little offbeat, if you ask me, but okay. You know, it doesn't matter. First, a little like boyish in a way. I don't know. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> I keep thinking of Nancy <laughs> Allen when that when people. I, yeah. that's, I oh, think she was a little kidding. Nancy. Nancy Allen was in one of the movies I watched. The movie I yeah. watched tonight, yeah. Compromising Position. Oh, Nancy, Nancy Allen, no Allen was in it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. Let's see. Um, yeah. This might all be answer to this, <clears throat> but. Yeah, so I wouldn't buy I wouldn't buy fifty laser discs if I didn't have a working laser <laughs> yeah. player. Yes. Right. Well, yes. some people. And I watched some, those. Yeah. I watched those tonight, so I kind of thought it was obvious that I did. No, I buy I, I buy cassettes, and I'm not playing the cassettes. I guess those. not. Um, I have not seen the Guardian. Has anybody seen the Guardian? The director of the Exorcist. You, you're talking about Will, oh, William William Freakin. Maybe you're talking about Exorcist Believer. Is that what you're talking about? Because there's a B at the end of that. Did, unless he, did, what, did, what, I don't know. <clears throat> I'll look no. it up real quick. Yeah, I don't know The Guardian. Yeah, yeah. I think I think that was Criterion was the first one really to put supplementary material on a laser disc. And they probably put it on their VHSs too. Oh. I don't know. Guardian and is they, a they uh, supplementary yeah. material before yeah. it was ever called bonus features. I'll go along with that that, that statement. She was in the uh, she was in the uh, offer center gentleman as well, wasn't she? Oh yes, yeah, she was. It was a pretty hot scene with the uh, in there with her. Does anyone uh, like the movie Great Balls of Fire? I saw that in the movie theater, and I didn't like. Well, I remember about it was thinking that what's his name, Dennis Quaid. 
yeah. was over the top. If I'm going, yeah, with him, yeah. I'm going playing the piano. And he's a little too smirky, you know. He has that yeah. smirk on his face most of the time, and he's he's a little too smirky. It's a little he's okay. He yeah. wasn't. It's terrible. a little campy. Uh, yeah. You know, I thought Winona Ryder was okay in that movie, but uh, oh, I, oh, I don't think I, that's probably why I saw it <laughs> back in the yeah. Day. He's a cutie. <laughs> I don't think it's, you know, I think La Bamba is 10 times better than uh, Great Balls of Fire. There you if go, we're going to talk about for you. Oh. No, no, but it's better than VHS. And what I do is, and I got this from um, a guy online. Um, if you want to improve a little bit, you get yourself a DVD recorder. You run your laser disc player into the DVD recorder, and then you run. Um, now I can't think. What's the cord that everybody that you have to use? HDMI cable. The HDMI, HDMI cord cable. out of the DVD player into your television, and it'll upscale it a little bit. Um, so it looks a little bit better than it would otherwise if you do that. But still, no. But it's 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 definitely watchable. I mean, it and. I'm I, I'm starting to like it again because it's like going to a movie theater in the '80s when these movies were made. Because movies didn't look like they look now. In yeah, they really in weren't the that 80s. good. You know, you know they shop. they looked like they looked on this laser disc. So I kind of appreciate that. You know, I mean, you get film noise, you get background noise. You know, you get. You know, they're not perfect, and I I kind of like that. Tim, you got more questions. I see that. No, I don't mind manually. Flip. They do make laser disc players where you don't have to do that, but I don't. I don't mind it. I, you know, listen. No offense to Matchstick Man. Uh, you know, he's, he, he's seems like a good person and asks good mm -hmm. questions. But I, I really hate when people ask that. Question. Oh, you get your record. You got to flip yeah. it over. Oh, you yeah. bought the Paul McCartney. <laughs> yeah. Well, not in the middle of a movie. set. No, 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 you know, no, no. 40, 45 <laughs> set. You got to flip it over. Well, yeah. you had to flip. You had to flip. You had to flip. Uh, DVD, you know, those early DVDs, some of them you had to flip over. No, you didn't. Um, you know, v VA, yeah, you did. Oh, absolutely. I, I collected them since March, March of uh, 1997, VHS's, I collected them. I never. Uh, VH, some VHSs to come in twos, you know, you had to, you know, you had to put, uh, if it was yeah. a longer movie, you had Hold to on. put the second VHS in. That's rare. Yeah. That, that's um, very rare. First of all, you can't compare record uh, albums because record sure albums, I think can. that was. No, you can't, because that was the intent. We're going to go back a little longer. The intention, they designed them that way. Side one, so wait, pause, flip, side two. That was the idea, right. a little break, right? They designed them that way originally. Side one, side B, song one, and that. Movies are not made to be interrupted. I mean, in some cases, sure. Oh, yeah, sure. You know, well, No, but... I'm but not talking you, about the long ones. I'm not talking at, about at the, the epic. time, though. You're you you you're sacrificing maybe having to get up and flip the disc, which you probably a lot of people have to go to the bathroom or want to get a snack or a drink or something in the middle of a movie anyway, which is a perfect right. time to do that. And um, <laughs> but but you're sacrificing that for for better quality than a VHS tape, which is what you would have had. Did you just before. go for a DVD or a Blu-ray. But you didn't at that time. They weren't invented well, this yet. Is the, what are you doing? <laughs> this is, Tim, this is 2024. It's not whatever. I, happened, I understand that. So we can do it now. I understand that, but it's still okay to, it's still okay to, you know. Oh, if it doesn't bother you, it doesn't bother you. That's what no, the I, 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 yeah. I enjoy watching late. It's, a, it's more of an event. You know, that's what I don't believer. like about streaming. Streaming, you go on your computer, yeah. TV, blah, 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 and you sit there and that's it. This is an event. You got to fire your laser disc yeah. player up. You got to fire if your... If I had a work, yeah. Out. It's like a record. It's in a big jacket. It's this big disc. I should show one because oh some God. people might not even Hold know on. what these things point. look Hold like. on a minute before what? I forget my point. I had no use for laser disc then. And I personally, for me, I have no use for laser discs now. <laughs> um, and I don't believe movies are supposed to be other than the epics with the intermissions interrupted. You're supposed right. to sit there, no, I, not yeah. miss anything straight through. That's what one looks like for those. Yeah, and if I had a working, if I had a working laser disc, I tell you what, if I saw like a, a a Criterion or something, a movie I really loved, whether it was Criterion or not, I'd I'd, I'd probably pick it up. 
Yeah, for, I, I mean, I have things box. just for collector's pieces, but not not, not to watch movies. For me, that's just me. You Some know, people for, like them. For, for, and I, I, like I said, it makes it more of an event. You know, it makes it it makes it special. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, 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 yeah, to each their own. You know, but I, I'm not gonna sit here and defend it, and I'm not gonna, I'm not telling anybody to rush out and buy a laser disc player and laser disc. Right. I'm certainly not gonna do that. But I like them. Well, it's not it's not for me, but um, anyway, no. again, odd, like odd couple again, thank God. Uh, Blu -ray, yeah. Blu -ray. that's a deal right there. Uh, that's Forty-seven dollars. I thought bucks. it was eighty something. Yeah, I got it for seventy-one. I think. Tom, yeah. have you given up on it yet? Or are you still going? No, well, no. I mean, I no. I'm just catching up on some movies, yeah. uh, and I'll get back to it. Yeah, yeah I'm having a great. I'm on the last seat, the last season. You know, I'm having yeah. a. Great, great. I'm not old retired, time. not retired yet. So I gotta. <laughs> All right, let's see now. Um, I have a DVD of Goodfellas, and you have to flip it. All right. Well, I guess I didn't. Buy, how long? Yeah. How how long is it? I don't know. I'm telling. Well, it was I the have, early days. It was the early days of DVDs. I'm trying to tell you. had to flip. I listen. Yeah. I yeah. went out a Mar in March of 1997, and I bought on launch yeah. date. I was sold on DVDs. I figured they were going to be like, but CDs yeah. did for music. So I was so right. I, I said this is it. I I personally don't remember too many or any DVDs that you had to flip to get to the rest of the movie. Yeah, I mean they had no, wide screen was, on one side in the beginning. They, they you know, had you know, yeah, yeah. dual yeah. layer DVDs yeah. yet. Um, well, which give me um, right, well, well, the West was one is one that I remember. Well, that's was, a long movie. Isn't that a yeah. long movie? Yeah. That's a yeah. three hour. Yeah, film. it's going to be a long I'm movie. We're talking about a ninety minute movie that you had to flip. I'm st uh, yeah. I'm, I'm talking. Help me, Lord. I'm talking about your your standard two hours and under movies. I had The Exorcist, which is I think 122 minutes. Yeah, I no, think. no, no, didn't no. Have to you flip didn't it. have to flip. Well, yeah. well, if we're talking about movies anyway, movies that that are long, yes, you, yes, you, you you have to do that. Yes, that's true. But I'm, I was talking about with Laserdisc, you got to flip a 90 minute movie. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. No comparison. You know. Yeah. So. All right, fair enough. Uh, hello, Amy. Do you gents think help is becoming more appreciated than a hard day's night? I don't think so. I mean, a lot of people like it. I like it yeah. a lot, a lot. I I both of them are great films. I mean, yeah, yeah I like them both pretty yeah. equally. For me, hard I days saw say, but, matter, but again, that's just me. I I think a hard day's night is cinematically superior. But for just a fun, yeah. fun, good time and a hoot, I, I, I often like to watch Help. Um, as far as St. Elmo's Fire, I saw both of those movies. The Breakfast Club is okay. I saw St. Elmo's Fire in the movies and don't remember anything about St. Elmo's Fire. I, yeah, I was it, and it's a, it's a Brat Pack kid. movie, and you had all these hot, hot, hot kids at the time. You, and, you know, they thought if you put them in one movie, it would be good. I, I don't think St. Elmo's Fire is that good just because... You had all these I, hot kids at the time. I think it, Breakfast it, Club is it, ten it, times better than St. Elmo's Fire. I loved both of those movies, but I was the right age. I was about as old as they were. Well, mm. especially St. Elmo's Fire. I was about as old as those people were in that movie. And I, I love both yeah. those movies. I, those are two of the movies I've probably seen the most in my life. They're in my top ten. Really? Most wow. Wow. You're I would, fooling us I would that. watch I them a couple old. times a week for like a year back. Wow. <laughs> I, I love thought them. it was all 1930s and I, mostly 1930s and 40s. No, not back, not thinking. back, not back in the in the early 80s. I and uh, I couldn't stand the the, the Saint Elmo's Fire theme song either. I thought that oh, was a terrible song. I didn't really like yeah. the music in it, but but <laughs> that, I mean it was okay. I, I didn't hate it, really. it, but I didn't, I didn't love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, Woodland, like I say, it's not an experience for me. I, I never got into the laser uh, yeah. at the time. It was, they were too expensive at the time. And it used to be this joke. I know It was expensive, yeah. I, 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 my friend used to be into laser discs, and he'd always have a, jo a, a joke with his, his other friend who was into laser discs. Fill the car with gas because they had to go several trips because they kept playing it. There'd be laser rod already, and there'd be like little things. And, he, and that's what he used to tell me. And and he, little things, little a little line or something. He didn't like it. That, he was really that picky. Was just early days. Yeah, you know, they didn't. They hadn't figured out the best way to make them yet. 
after the first year or two, the laser rot thing isn't really an issue. It is with a couple companies that didn't care and just, you know, but most, I only have one or two laser discs out of like 400 or something. That I well, have what's that the difference, Tim, what's the difference between the, the, was it the CVL and CAL or CV, you know, you know what I'm it's, saying? There's... The, 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 um, CLV and what is the other one? CAL? CAL? Yeah, those, I think. Those, they only put like <laughs> yeah, yeah. this will really bother Joe. They only put like half an hour of the movie on each side of the disc. On one okay. side, yeah, on that side, right, but, right. But for for that, you get special features like slow mo. You can even step it. You can watch that movie one right. frame at a time. One frame at a time. Yeah. Um, yeah. And yeah. you can do reverse and fast forward. Whereas on regular, you you hit fast forward on a, on a CLV disc, and the screen just goes blue, and you can't see where you're fast forwarding to or anything. On a, on the other one, mm. you, you can you can fast forward. And it actually shows you the stuff. You can re reverse it. You can slow mo mow it you know and that kind of stuff and that's the difference between them but most discs criterions are mostly cav but most of them are clv the main yeah. thing is that you're that you you, you love them and you're having fun with them and that's what matter, matters yeah. for you for me yeah, personally absolutely. i look at them as like eight tracks to to cds or you know or mm. vinyl i don't really i don't really like them at all but yeah. They're cool. They're big. I like. Well, I wasn't them. into it when I was a kid. <laughs> I didn't get a laser disc player till about I don't even know nineteen ninety one or something like that. Um, yeah. <laughs> somebody gave me one, and I had to carry it home on the metro, and it's a monster. It's huge. <laughs> now the laser disc about that was pounds. <laughs> Was that was that a red and red and white and yellow uh, inputs like like the like a CD player or um, do you remember how do you hook those up to your TV? No, it only has it only has. Um, I'm not the even red I can't and the white. Remember, mine might only be mono. It's been so long since I looked at it. I'm not mm. even sure mine's stereo. Um, yeah. it, but it wouldn't be red and white. They were just using. But it may have had a separate. Video is actually supposed to come out of um like a TV does um yeah you know, the TV right 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 yeah, yeah. I know what you like mean like a UHF yeah. connector thing but um and that's how I've got it hooked up to my um my my recorder and then out of the recorder comes the HDMI cable into my television yeah somebody said let it be and I think it, I think let it be was oh, I know let it be was on late it was on it was on a laser disc it was yeah that's on. where most of the bootleg yeah. copies come from is yeah. let it be laser disc I've never the show the bear never seen that yeah, yeah it's I, I I mean everybody says it's good but I mean it's it's about you know chef and you know kitchens and I, I can't watch those shows because uh, you know I live that yeah. stuff I mean I, I don't need to Okay, I'll I'll own up again. No, the answer is no. I have not seen Secret of the Incas yet, um, and a lot of and about two hundred other movies, or three hundred other movies. You know what I mean? It's like everybody's like, I I respect that you're interested, Wes. The thing is, like, what do you go for? I mean, you know, everybody's got something. That's just a good time for me to. So I'm going to inject this in. I was waiting when I was going to say this. Okay, um, some people watch my channel know this. Um, I, like what? Like I, had, I, had, I was sick and and uh, I wanted to watch something. I wanted to watch something that was like, I had a whole pile of movies that, like like the Secret of the Incas that I haven't watched yet. And I'm like, okay, what am I gonna watch? If I'm in the house, I'm not feeling that great. I'm just moping. What what's like that? I thought, oh, the whale with Brendan Fraser. He's you know he's six hundred whatever he is a thousand mm -hmm. pounds or whatever, and he he's in the house. He's housebound. I said eh, that seems like the kind of movie for today. I. Let me tell you, I really, you should probably know, I can't review the movie because I don't believe in reviewing a movie that you don't finish. And mm. that very seldom happens. I think, it, you know, I've been going to the movies for 50 years or something like that. I think I walked out on two movies. One of them was Wired with John, a John Belushi bio that I, I hated so much I walked out on it. I can't remember the other one. But my point is, I'm watching it. It was two hours. I got to an hour and 10 minutes and I was like, 
it's got, it went beyond the redemption point. I don't know if anybody ever has it. It's like no matter what happens from here on, I you know I I, I knew what to expect. I knew it was going to be an unhappy story. It was going to be a depressed story about a man with a lot of problems, and you know, and I knew that his daughter, the, the character, uh, was going to be really obnoxious, really hateful, and hate a father and treat him like garbage and all that. I expected all that, and I, I Lord knows, a movie doesn't have to be one big happy party cheerful people all the time for me to like it i like a lot of nasty villains and bad people or you know unredeemable characters but for some reason maybe i just wasn't into it i said i had enough of these people i had enough of this i don't want to see the rest of this i thought why should i waste my time you know what i mean i'm like i'm not gonna i'm not gonna sit here another whatever was left i can't do my math over 50 minutes to watch the rest of this i don't even care so so i i took it out of, of the player it was uh uh, a disc that somebody burned for me, you know, made a copy for me. And then I said, well, you know, but I am curious. I got to admit, <laughs> even though I don't want to put it in the time. So I saw a video that said The Whale in 16 minutes. So I'm like, oh, let me go to the point where I was. And, it, uh, yeah, I didn't like <laughs> the way it finished up either. I'm like, wow, you know. Anyway, yeah. so I didn't like The Whale. Did either one of you guys see that? No, it didn't interest me. You know, I mean, people say that Brendan Fraser, you know, deserved the the Oscar he won for that, yeah. but I really didn't have any interest in seeing it. I don't know. He was good, but I mean, I don't know. I I, I don't know. I, I, you know, and I hate to just yeah. leave it like that. You know, oh, you know, just because it was like so miserable on these people. I've, I love lots of miserable. Beneath the Planet of the Apes is a de a depressing, hopeless sequel to Planet of the Apes. There's no hope. The end is so hopeless and all this. But I love it. What can I tell you? But this movie, I was like, I was like, oh man. And there's other depressing, sad, hair jerking movies and stuff that work. Right. I, I just didn't. I I didn't like it. So that that's how I worked that one in. Um, but yeah, Secret of the Inca. You know, since that's a special request, maybe I should get it in there. I still got to watch Casino too. I picked up Casino on a DVD, mm -hmm. which I've never seen. Let's spend the night together. <laughs> Neighbors, parents demanding time to use their machines. Um, in the late seventies, my friend's dad worked for Pioneer Stereo, and he had a laser disc. It was state of the art technology. We watched the jerk repeatedly. You know, I mean, only at the yeah. time it was pretty cool. Well, yeah, yeah, at the time, yeah. you know. Yeah. They, they, and and remember, you weren't watching; you were watching them on CRT TVs too, which didn't have yes, the best. Right. So yes. a laser disc yeah. on a CRT actually looks better. A laser disc looks better on a CRT than it does on a modern. Yeah, I could have, yeah, and, yeah. I'm sure um, of that. Yeah, that's another thing. Yeah. Uh, you have a favorite, like, or have a favorite silent film? I mean, uh, Charlie Chaplin stuff is 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 great. I mean, I like Nostradu. City Lights. You know, yeah. I don't know if it's my favorite, but City Lights is one of my. Yeah, one City of my Lights favorites. is great. I I think I mentioned this last week. There's a film called The Crowd, which yeah. is really good. I M M I mean, is a great I mean, silent film. Metropolis is maybe my favorite. Yeah. I think film. M is M is I sound. Have. Oh, this is another version of I think was M silent? Uh, I don't remember. No, M, yeah. M, M was Fritz Lang's first talking film. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, okay. I'm I, 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 I'm... I, uh, well, you know, Phantom of the Opera, The Man Who Laughs. Uh, M was know. also the first German talking film. Yeah. yeah. For our two, a lot of horror movies I like. Silent, yeah, yeah, you know. no, there's, there's just there's tons of Cabinet of Dr. Caligari. Yeah. I still never yeah. watched the Ben Hur silent film. You know, I still have seen that. I just watched Greed the other day and I really liked it. Uh, yeah. More than I thought I would. There's one called Vampire that's pretty good too. Yeah. yeah I know that one. Um yeah. that uh, Tim, if you haven't seen the whole uh it's fantastic. This is a great prison escape uh escape from prison film. Uh the I whole. It's really good. I definitely yeah, I definitely recommend uh uh that film. Okay, I'll keep a mental note. Yeah, laser disc works were considered expensive yeah. then for sure. Yeah, but they did. They caught on more than people think. It's not. They weren't a flash in the pan. They were around from like seventy seven to like ninety eight. They were around quite a long time, actually. <laughs> oh, I love it. You kidding? American Graffiti is one of my all time favorite films. I just got to see it this... in the theater again. For the fiftieth yeah. anniversary, I saw the movie when it was new when I was a kid. I loved it. I, it's one of my top ten. It's in my top ten. 
Yeah, I love that movie. I wonder if this is Chrissy's first time watching, uh, because we uh, we I think we've talked about that several times. Oh, sometimes it's yeah, great. Oh yeah, there's yeah. people yeah. That are coming He's over up here. There with you know, Jaws and Rocky. <laughs> right. Well, we, we talked about this earlier, Matt, Matthew. So yeah. Tim and I have seen none of them, and uh, I've seen four. 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 I've seen four. Uh, Hopefully by next week I'll have seen six of them. Uh, is uh, is Godzilla going to be uh, going to be up for any? I hear that he's going to be up for something. It's it, it actually got nominated for best special effects. Oh. Uh, it should be it should be uh, it should be up for more than that. But yeah, uh, but that's that's yeah. Metropolis oh. uh, still haven't that's seen that. Does. Yeah, Metropolis. Is... I think they released it on Laserdisc. Uh, <laughs> I don't think Brendan Fraser does it. You know what? I, I mean, a lot of it, he, he did gain a lot of weight. A lot of it was a fat suit. Mostly he had to sit around on right. his ass a lot, you know, try to stand up. You know, and so I was like, I could have done that. I could have done I mean, that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I could have sat on my ass. Yes, all day. Nosferatu was a silent movie, the original one. Yes. The original, yes. Not yeah, the 79. It's 1922. Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah. It's an early Warner or yeah. silent film. You ever see Gummo? I think I prefer Harpo, I, yeah. Harpo and um, Groucho. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I know of Gummo. I, I haven't seen it. No, I haven't either. By the way, guys, I just thought of this. Just before the show started, I passed uh, 14 days of waiting to change my movie title. The 14 days passed just before we started. So I put back a title I had used already. <laughs> Mr. Mayo's Movies. Woo! A very, very in-depth. <laughs> it's, almost, it's almost as good as Tom's movie channel. <laughs> Tom, you choking over there? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Spit it out, baby. Oh, Mr. Mayo's <laughs> movie. That's it. For the, for this, I got one more time though. I could change it twice every four in fourteen days. So I got one more time to change yeah. it. Then I gotta wait fourteen days. Right. Oh Looking my, to that's too funny. <laughs> so let's see how Mr. Mayo's movies does. That's a little catchy. That mean Mr. Mayo cinema. Oh God, help me. Uh... Funny, funny. You gotta laugh. Yes, Chrissy, thank you for coming here. Chrissy's always on my morning yes. shows, and I appreciate you coming here. Yeah, a lot of people, I'm trying to get more people coming over, and I appreciate that. Anybody who's come over here, thank you very much. Thanks, Excellent. Chrissy. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. Triumph of the Will is a good silent film. I, I, I've seen yeah, other silent films. I like well, non-horror, actually. But that's Triumph of the Will is like you know a Russian yeah. propaganda film, but it's still good. <laughs> the um, the D W Griffith yeah the D W Griffith films are are you know intolerance and birth of a nation I mean those yeah. I mean there some parts are good I mean there there's sometimes some of them are hard to watch or yeah, you know it, some of the it, scenes it, are hard to watch but it's they're intolerance is I mean they're his, it's history yeah. yeah I mean he was he but, was it was his, it was an early attempt at doing a montage film and you know it, it kind of works but it it's needlessly confusing. I forgot what I was going to ask you if you ever watched. Oh, did you ever did you ever see the, the, the did you ever watch the Criterion the new Criterion Freaks? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I watched Freaks. I just haven't watched the other stuff yet. Is the unknown on there, or is that separate a separate release? What's I think the there? unknown is on there. Hold on. Uh, it's right here. Uh, you've got uh, Freaks, the Unknown, and the Mystic. Okay, the unknown's very good too. I've never seen the mystic. Yeah. Well, uh, by the way, yeah, Chris, we're here. I'm trying to make this every Wednesday night, same time. Hello, John. Hello, John. Hello. Yeah, my monster shirt. Yeah, I don't have it. I, I don't hello know. to everyone else. I haven't I really said hello to. Yeah. Yeah, monster. Phantom Carriage is is you know is you know Criterion released that. That's a pretty good one as well. All right, so we're caught up now, and do uh, you have anything else to think of movie-wise while we're waiting? Um, um, I watch <laughs> more movies. I'm surprised I even tried yeah. putting the whale on. You know, sorry, I finally picked something one after the. I don't have the time, Tom. That's what it is. Well, I know you. Here's, know. here's I know. the thing: I know. a lot of times I'm in the mood for light entertainment. I'm not. I don't want to yeah. watch something heavy. So in front of my TV now is this stack of movies that are like two and a half hours plus long that are all heavy. That you know, they just sit there because right. I'm never in the mood to watch them. You know, it's like oh. 
I hope you watch Nixon. I I, I think he's, I, I really oh, enjoy no, Nixon. I, will, I, will, I, will, own, I, will, I will definitely watch yeah. Nixon. But a lot of them are like, yeah. you know, war movies and stuff. And it's like, I don't know. Right. This right yeah. Now. Oh man! Yeah, yeah but uh, positions in Melbourne yeah. and Howard. <laughs> There's a film. Uh, I think it's called Affliction with Nick Nolte and James Colburn. Uh, I think James Colburn won the Best Supporting Actor for that one. Um, I think this was '97, something like that, right around that time. And um, uh, Shout Factory is, is releasing it soon, and I was really excited about that because it's a great film. Uh, Past Lives, I do want to see. Um, I'm hoping to see that because that's out on Blu right now. You can you can watch Past Lives, but Holdovers is excellent. Killers of the Flower Moon I thought was better than just okay. Is Holdovers um, in the, Anatomy, in the fe theaters yeah. now, or is that gone? Yes, yes. It's uh, well, I just saw it two weeks ago in the theaters, so hopefully huh. it still is. Maybe I could go see. Um, it. Yeah. yeah, again, Anatomy of Fall I really really want to see. Um, bad, but I don't think you. I don't. I mean, I don't think it's playing anywhere um, in Michigan. So. But uh, but yeah, but Maestro, I think you can see on uh, Netflix. More De Niro. Yeah, in between Oscar nominations, yeah. No, wait a minute. Fun fact. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I got you now. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty incredible. You know, to be still doing you know Oscar worthy performances forty nine years after your your first nomination, I think that's pretty impressive. I'm just thinking of this. <laughs> Sorry. We talked about this a little bit. I, I, I'm on the last season, season five. We finished, finished the first disc. The first, you know, first disc. Got, yeah. How many discs are there? Three? I, I got two more discs to go. Three per, yeah, three three per season. The quality episodes, if you mean... Nah, from, from from season two to five to five, they're all good. It's good. This quality is consistent, if that's what you mean. You're talking about the quality of the scripts and everything, I think the quality stays co consistent from two, three, four, and five. Actually, um, yeah. I mean, I finished season three. I still need to get to, through four and five, but I'm just trying to catch up on you know. a bunch of movies that I need to watch. Yep. Okay. Oh yeah, the quality. Yeah, the quality. But it's good, you know. I oh, still, fantastic. I still think the first. I still think the first season is funny. The problem is, I just it's too. What's the word we're looking for? Stifled or something? I'm a defender yeah. of the first season. I think the first season is as good as any of the other. I, I think it's fun, very funny. The only thing is, it's just not. It's not as free and. It's not breathy. as yeah. It's not as yeah. Free is a pretty good. One. I mean, they just by the second season, they just seem so relaxed, and and the chemistry well, is there. They know each other so well. And the and the words from the scripts are just flowing, you know. Mm -hmm. it, it's just you know back nonstop, and it's great. I think you can really tell the difference between one season one and the rest of the seasons. Okay. You know, it's funny. I I I, I for twenty nine. I might if I could get the mod squad. I might try the mod squad. I mean, I just I think I'm in the mood sometimes for just to bring Bork back to that colorful I... era. I don't know. I never watched it. It was it used to be it was one of the staples that was on W O R. I think that's what staples. Yeah, I, yeah, growing up I never really uh, watched it much, but I, I, but I never know. watched it. I always watched there was always something better on than the Mod Squad. <laughs> oh man, what about the colors and the, the, the psychedelic, baby? Well, I would <laughs> have to watch it in my bedroom on a black and white TV. So the colors and the psychedelic didn't really do much for me. <laughs> Uh, I, I I might as well start it off because I mean the Deer Hunter. Oh, I, I remember trying it at, 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 on DVD and I was like, you know, expected so much. And I was like, I love the the Russian roulette scene, and uh, you know. And I I just remember thinking, well, maybe I, I want to see it again. That's all I could say. I want to see it mm -hmm. again. I think it's one. I think it's one of the great. All 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 the performers in there give give career, you know, fantastic. Before Hamel Streep, De Niro, Christopher Walken, they they're they're excellent in that film, and it's such an emotional roller coaster. That film, um, you know, you go through the good times and you go through the bad times, and you feel, or at least I do. I mean, every time I watch that movie, I you know, it's yeah, I I don't know how you just don't, you know, end up in tears after watching that movie. 
Oh, well, I have. The soundtrack is great. American Graffiti soundtrack, great, a great soundtrack to a great movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I love it. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. The, the soundtrack to American Graffiti 2 might be better than the movie. <laughs> Even just with, really? <laughs> I look. I gotta tell you, Ameri more American the sequel, more American Graffiti. Yeah, it's worth watch. I think it's worth watching once, maybe. But yeah. I've come to enjoy it. I've come to enjoy it. I know it's not great. It's not very good. But I watch it for the Charles Martin Smith but, segment in Vietnam stuff. I think that's hilarious. Some of that but, stuff. But what I'm saying is the soundtrack is really good. <laughs> the soundtrack is is good. Sure. Yeah. Um, we just talked about the movie Freaks. We just. Yeah. We just yeah. talked about it. And there's the the criterion, the box set from Criterion yeah. Collection. Yeah, yeah, it's a good movie, but you know, yeah, back then, you know, yeah. Now, to wish, me, there's a lot of what. Every time that movie comes up, I wish someone somewhere would discover the missing footage. Like half of that film yeah, is no. missing. True. You know, and it, but, God, it would be great to find it. To me, it's one of those movies. There's too much like. Well, it's got a story. It's got a good, it's got a story, but it's a lot of it's like look at look at the, look at me, look at me, look at this, well, look at that. Like a lot of the story is what's missing, unfortunately. Mm. Hello, Kimba's here. Hello, Kimba. Hey, there you go. Mod Squad is awesome. There you go, Kimba, and that red lipstick. Mm -mm. <laughs> I like pale lipstick. <laughs> what it's worth. Uh, uh, the Deer Hunter is a fantastic film. The wedding scene is literally an hour long. Yeah, the big yeah yeah the hours yeah it is a long, drawn out. But again, you 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 learn a lot about the characters uh, throughout that first hour, and there then leading go. up into going into the deer hunting scene after that. You know, good for you, Glenn. Good for you. Well, you know, it was it was hard. You know, it was hard to make that movie work though, because John, you know, like one of the main characters. Well, it's not a, this is a little spoiler at this point. Dies at the end of American Graffiti, so it's hard to bring him back. But they, 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 the way they did it, I thought was ingenious. The way the way they made mul multiple stories out of it and stuff. But uh, yeah, it's weak. It's weak. It's one of those sequels that's you know can't hold a candle to the original, like most of those. Jaws two, Grease two. Uh, I'm yeah, thinking well, of Grease two is just oh god awful. You know any um how about staying Fresh alive. Dead? Staying alive was terrible. Yeah, staying to, alive. Uh, uh, well, Terminator two. Terminator two is good. Aliens. Yeah. yeah. Second. Aliens is excellent. Yeah. Bride of Frankenstein. <laughs> Um, by the I, you way, know, it's funny you brought aliens. It's funny you brought aliens up because that, you know, for people that you know complain about, you know, woke cinema, that is as woke as you can get. That film right there, um, you know, with the with the, the female, um, you know, with the ma, you know, with the the mother alien going against the female, uh, you know, in in, in Ripley, uh, you know, uh, so it's, you know that's about, it's been. That's been going on for a long time. Uh, I was curious about this one, Joe. Have you ever? Did you ever see this series? If I'm not mistaken, I think Tony Randall plays a gay. Uh, is that was, is he a judge in that one? Or yeah, he's a no, judge. We're not talking about, not talking about like the family actual. court judge. He's gay. Yes. Excuse the poor. He can't get over that. That he think he thinks that Tony Randall's too gay to, to be oh. to be Felix. But he, no, he plays a gay. He's got like a daughter, but, I think. But there was another show called the Tony Randall Show. There was two TV series. One of them was yeah. Love Sydney, where I know it's that's the gay one, and the other one, which was controversial at the time, you know. Yeah, no, it definitely was. That's yeah. after the Odd Couple, then, right? Yeah. Yes, 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 okay. yes. We're yeah. talking like. And then there was the Tony Randall Show, which I don't remember what that what that was about. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. By the way, Matthew Smith, I'm glad you're here. I haven't seen you around here much. I know you like movies too. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, room 222. Oh. Yeah, I have this. There's a season out, season one, uh, room 222. Uh, two, two seasons, according to Kimba two? in her comments a little while ago. Oh, um, sorry. room 20, 222, otherwise known as the Karen Valentine show. Yeah, it's, not, it's not all about her, don't listen to it, but anyway, be that as it may. I love the theme song, I love the opening credits. Uh, it such, reminds me of those great times. I was, like I said, I was a kid. It was great yeah. times. But anyway, the quality is horrendous on the uh, 
season I have, it's not mm-hmm. remastered or anything. I mean, it's like it's still. I'm still glad because you have it. You know, I'm not, yeah. gonna, I'm not yeah. saying, oh, you know, I'd rather have it like that than not at all. But you know, it varies. It's one yeah. of those things that varies from episode to episode, the quality and yeah. stuff. That's but, one uh, thing that's missing from TV to the TV shows today is the the great opening, uh, you know, yeah. credit. Uh, yeah, song or theme, yeah. You know. Well, why would you do that when you can get a minute more commercials if you don't do that? That's what happened, that's basically what happened. Oh. And the mm-hmm. first major TV show to do that, I even I know was ER. ER started oh, really? out with a theme song, and then like season two or three, it just went dun, 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 or whatever, and then right into the show. And they were the first ones to like skip it, mm. and then everybody started. If you had a theme song, it was like five or ten seconds long, and then straight into the show. Um, I just wa- I just bought the Blu-ray of yeah. Some Like It Hot and watched it again. I hate to be like a sourpuss. I, I it's a good movie. I I, I don't go nuts as this is this has got to be the greatest comedy of all time. Is it just, yeah, yeah, it's you know? funny, but it's I agree with you. It's funny, but um, yeah, it, it's I don't good, know. but. You know, I, it's not as good as is um, like Seven Year Itch, I don't think, or other right, Maryland yeah. movies. Harold, Maryland's in better movies than that. It's yeah, good. Maryland's I love the really the, the last. Stuff. Yeah, the, the <laughs> lo- I love the last scene. You know, where he goes, nobody's perfect. You know, yeah, I mean, oh. that's that. You know, that's a great ending. Um, mm-hmm. But um, you know, I you know Tony Randall and Lemon, I thought were good together. And and Marilyn's beautiful in the movie. And, and but, back then yeah. it was, but you know, and I love when he does. I love when, uh, well, man, Tony Curtis does that Cary Grant kind of stuff. Plays that character, yeah. the other character, right? And every and everything. Um, yeah, it's it's good. I, I just watched. It. I remember thinking, oh, I don't love this though. You know, it's good. No, but I no, caught no, it kind of late in life. Also, I didn't catch it. Like I, I'd life. rather I sit down and watch the Seven Year Itch before. Because there was watch. a there was a time also. Oh, the idea that you got you know two men dressing up like women. Oh, <laughs> you know that's funny. Yeah. You know, I, you know, it's not so much anymore. I I don't think. No. Uh, did any of you dress like your screen like stars? Your... Yeah, I, I dress like Bluto from Animal. Oh, oh I no. see what you're saying. <laughs> uh, no, no, I really. never dressed like. Yeah, uh, I, I don't. I don't think I did either. I don't remember ever. I wonder how many people went out and bought a leather coat after uh, becoming a Fonzie fan. Oh, a lot of people. I'm no, sure. wait a minute. I did once. I did buy a, a huge bulking overcoat. Um, because, because of the Breakfast Club, actually. <laughs> ah, so like Judge, Judge, uh, what yeah, was it? Yeah. I mean, I yeah. needed something heavy. I was walking an hour to work in Buffalo, New York in the middle of winter. I needed something warm and heavy, and I found this thing, and I'm like, oh, that's perfect. I, I think all, all the uh, challenged people, physically challenged people in that movie, I think they yeah. all knew they were being filmed. I, I'm trying to oh, remember. No, they yeah, were they were all actors. I mean, they were carnival yeah. people. That's what they did. That's how they made their living. People put that down. Yeah, good point, Tim. But, good point, Tim. The government wasn't supporting those people and things like that back then. They had a choice. They could join a carnival or make movies or something like that or starve to death. You know, I mean, so the, you, we call it exploitation now. Back then, it was making a living and it was supporting yeah. themselves. Yeah. And Good it was point. looked on very yeah. favorably, actually, yeah. because look, these right. people are taking care of themselves. Good for them. You right. know, it's a different time we live in. Wes, this is a fair question. Did you ever end up watching Beretta, Joe? I remember the rant video about the ordeal and getting it. It was an ordeal. We got it. Uh, my girlfriend and I watched the first episode, and we never watched another one. <laughs> and uh, it wasn't because it was horrible or anything. I just, uh, you know, things happen, and you get into something else, yeah. you don't finish. We, we, How we many watched... seasons did that go, Joe? I don't know. Five? Okay. I don't want to say four or five. Uh, yeah, it went, it went a few. But, you know, not that this matters too much, but it's another great intro. That great song. Oh, yeah. Dry on the Sparrow. Mm. By Sammy Maybe. Davis. That's a beautiful Maybe. intro song, but it's not in the yeah. first episode, the first season. Yeah. Um, anyway, um, it wasn't bad, but I was, you know, I can't tell from the first episode, but I was like, you just never went back. And then, you know, we, we had the, I bought her a few Christmases ago. I bought her, she loves Frasier. I bought her the whole complete series of Frasier. We got up to season six or seven and you just went on to something else. 
I, you know. Well, it's it's, well, it's possible to get burnt out. It's possible to get burnt out when you're binging a show too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I tried why, watching why, you know. all of Lucy once, and by I made it through about halfway through season. Yeah, but six, you got to do it right, right? You can't like was, if you're yeah. done, how, you know. How right, you watch, you know. Yeah, exactly. Good night. point. Yeah, you know? maybe two. Yeah, I mean, depending. I mean, if they're an hour show, you know, watch one, you know, every other day or something like that. If yeah. it's a half hour mm -hmm. sitcom, maybe watch two or three. Yeah. I'm a, I'm, I've been a little mixed up about this. Can somebody answer what he means? Because I don't understand this. Does anybody know what he's referring to? Oh, the, the people's avatar. The like, like yeah. Woodlands. Like know, Woodlands it doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh, on, yeah. oh, oh, here. Oh, you yeah. mean the people? Yeah, in the, yeah, oh, yeah. 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 The people yeah. in the chat. Yeah. Right there. It doesn't matter. Well, you, I don't you don't care. always know, but uh, yeah, you don't always you know. know, and I I don't care. Uh, I, I, I didn't see. That's War not games. why we're here. War Games is I I watched that again last year. I bought it on Blu-ray and, and I thought it held up. Um, and that's a I movie that I watched like a hundred times on HBO when it came out. I saw it twice and, uh, in the theater when it came out. Yeah, I think I it's it. great. And I, you know, I'll tell you something else. I wouldn't even mind going through Charlie's Angels again. I mean, there's just something like I'm not saying great shows. But there's something I sometimes I just have the feel of that. First of all, beautiful women, you know, I see the beautiful women, and it just reminds me of that era. Like I, maybe sometimes I want to revisit that era, and just feel like it's '76 again, '77. I don't know. I, I kind of like wouldn't mind watching that. Mm. Um, yeah, Empire Strikes Back's a good sequel. Godfather Two is a good sequel. Yeah. Yep. I agree with that. Jaws, Jaws Two. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Here's oh, yeah, a so movie, Tom. Going back to um. War Games, another. Well, yeah. I think you need this movie either right before or right after War Games. Project X. Project X. Yeah, I remember that one as did well. You like? Yeah. Did you? I like. I like that just as yeah. well as I liked War Games. That's not one that. Uh, yeah, I, that wasn't. I don't remember that being on as much as War Games. Um, maybe just because if it because if it came before War Games, maybe I I didn't we didn't have cable yeah. at the time, so I didn't get yeah. to see that one as much as War Games. But not bad movie. No, and and oh man, did I have a crush on Helen Hunt when that movie came out? Oh my God, I was like, mm. wow. <laughs> yeah, she's a little offbeat, but I like her. <laughs> well, she wasn't. She wasn't the little. She wasn't the stick that she became. You know, she was. She was quite. She was just. A very, I I loved her eyes. I just. I just thought she was great. I was like, wow. I love it. I love her. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I just I saw, recently watched I all of them. Yeah, I don't know which one. I, I just, re yeah, I just recently bought them, upgraded on Blu-ray with all three of them, and um, I had a great time revisiting um, all three of those films. Well, I like the movie Tootsie. I think Tootsie blows away some like it hot as a great movie. I think Tootsie's a great mm. movie. I do, and I, I yeah, and that and that is funny. That you know, I think that is really funny. That movie. Um, personally, another great memory. Saw that in the movies. Yeah, I haven't seen it that many times. I saw it when it came out, and I thought it was okay. I didn't love it, and I don't know how many times I've seen it since. I think Psycho Two is a serviceable sequel, but I—I I mean, it's all right. But I don't—I don't think it's—it's it's great. Anybody? What's the one where at the end of the film you saw you see the knife going into the guy's mouth? Is that part two or three? No. Um, I don't think the so. Psycho. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah. not the very end. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, or, I, I saw all of them, but yeah. I only remember two for some reason. So the other ones okay. must have been too good. Maybe it wasn't the end, but uh, I just remember watching uh, whether uh, probably Psycho Two and seeing a you know the the chef knife going in some guy's mouth. Yeah. Okay, Superman Two. You know, it's so funny. I just. I just got Superman 3 and 4, which I know suck. Both of them suck. But the thing is, yeah. 2 is supposed to be very good. And I had, there was a, a used copy at the record store, and I forgot it. I don't know if it's still there. But it was. It said it was the longer, the Richard Donner cut. Does anybody know the difference? Yeah, which one's yeah the better it's one to different. Get? Donner, you want to get the Donner cut. I mean, he's directed one and he was directing both 1 and 2 at the same time. Um, so, but they wanted to get the first one out quickly. So, and then they fired him, uh, while, after he was halfway through making, uh, part two. And then, um, what's his name? I forgot the name of the director came in and finished, 
Um, but I think the Donner cut what is, about Richard is, is Lester? more superior. Was it Richard Lester? Yeah, that's yeah. He came. Richard Lester came in and replaced Donner. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. So what is that? Is that three seasons? I think that's three. Seasons? Five, yeah. six, seven, I don't know if every yeah. year is a season. And, no, that's and no, that's four. Yeah. The the thing that people don't remember, but Barada was based on the real life cop Toma. And there was a series Toma before yeah, that yeah. that only lasted a year, and then they got rid of Toma and came up with Beretta, but it was yeah. basically the same character. You never hear anything about Toma anymore. Like you can't no. get some of these things series anymore. Some no. But uh, yeah, the new name, yeah, I don't, yeah, maybe we'll see. Uh, do you like Ethy, Ethel or Trixie? But Ethel, Ethel Mertz has a, if that's what you mean, has a ton more, tons more to do. Yeah, than the tricks he ever did. Ethel yeah. by a hundred thousand mile million miles. You know, if you're talking, I was you're talking about looks or something. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking. <laughs> I, I think I'll go with Trixie for that, maybe. <laughs> you know what Trixie means? Well, if you watch the lost episodes, are you inferring that I was in burlesque? <laughs> if the shoe fits, take it off. <laughs> <laughs> It's only in the other Lost episodes. She had more to do in some of the Lost episodes. Yeah, so there's, there's episodes where Trixie isn't even in them. Yeah. Cool. Uh, let's see. I like Manic. There's a Manic great. Uh, yeah. There's some great stuff with him on on um, on uh, the Tonight Show. With Robert Blake on there. Oh yeah, he's, he was stuff. a character. Yeah. Oh, he sure was. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think he really acted. I just think he played himself in all the roles. <laughs> that he did. Oh. I think that was that was actually him, pretty much. <laughs> is, Eric, is Alec Baldwin's career over? Um, who knows these days? I don't know about things anymore like that. But I mean, if it's if you if you want to say because of. The incident on on his movie set uh, a couple years ago. I mean, it's possible he's well, just been indicted means, again. Yeah. You know, if he's he's just been indicted again. Um, you know, he he had a lot of responsibility um, on that film as a producer. You know, so yeah, you know, that's, is it is it his thing. fault? I mean, and who you know, maybe he is partially yeah. to blame for that. But as if, if but is it over? I mean, I mean, everybody likes to come back. Yeah, and he's yeah, an Academy that... Award nominated actor, you know. So I mean, well, we need another director like Tarantino that like to likes to pull people whose careers have been over for a long time and <laughs> put them back in the Robert spotlight. Forster. I mean, yeah, he's the last one yeah. to do that. I mean, I mean, yeah. John Travolta should have been on his knees thanking that man every day of his oh, life. Oh, I'm sure he was. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. After that, I told you, yeah. I felt really. I love Pulp Fiction, I, and I love John Travolta in it. And Did I was you like so get happy shorty? for him. Yeah. Uh, but then after that, that was like after that. Yeah, yeah. Get Shorty right? came after, and I thought that was pretty good too. But then he was just taking well, everything. That's what I was going to say. I know, felt really yeah. sorry. Yeah, but no, I like I like, like, just I, like I like Face Off. Yeah. I gotta say, I like Face Off. Face Off is excellent. Face Off is yeah, excellent. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Mrs. Doubtfire. I think I saw that. I saw that. I think I, my, I, during my honeymoon days, I think I, when I when I was married to first, you know, I, and we anyway, I didn't like it. I didn't not like it as much as I, I liked it as much as I liked. Um, God, Tootsie. To be honest, you know, I I thought they were very similar films for me. But with this is Doubtfire, am I right? I mean, if I, it was more. I was more because he wanted to see his kids. No, yeah. no, I'm talking about the the way he, he looked as the woman was more. Oh, I, I, I can't remember. Was it more like a, a appliances and stuff? Right. Where maybe you know Dustin Hoffman was just pretty much doing his right. makeup. You know what? I, you know what I mean? Mm. Like, the, well, anyway. And you can take that to the bank. I think I think he used to say that all the time. <laughs> Who would win in a cage fight? I know Dame Edna, Tootsie, and Mrs. I don't know. That's a good question. Probably Dame Edna. Probably yeah, Dame, I go with Dame Edna. Edna. 
Uh, somebody asked me this the other day. I've never seen Fletch, actually. I don't like right. Chevy Chase, so no. Yeah. He's, <laughs> he's hit or miss. He's hit or miss. I, I mean, like the first one things. I think is fine. Yeah, the first Fletch is fine. The second one, not so much. Doesn't one of those movies have a, a wing song in it? Uh, no, 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 no. And I know what you're talking about. that. Uh, the one, it's Arrow Through Me. Yeah. Um, and I'm forgetting the name. It, it was before Fletch. It might have been the one with, um, uh, uh, was it Under the Rainbow? Or the one with uh, Carrie uh, Fisher? Uh, it was in that. Uh, I saw that in the movie. No. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no. I'll have to look it up. But, um, but no, it wasn't Fletch. Well, I, wasn't I, think like it would, I think it would serve Will Smith right if he was finished. However, he's doing the sequel to I Am Legend. Get lost. Right. Yeah. Well, again, as as much as what he did was you know morally wrong, I mean it's uh, you know again people like a comeback story. I mean, you know, so yep. Comeback. I hope Chris Rock, Chris Rock can come back after that embarrassment. Oh, well, he has. He he he's done a very successful Netflix comedy special. Yeah. Where well, he I mean, talked he's about the one it. that I feel yeah. sorry. Like the other one, I don't care right. about. Oh yeah. You know. Hmm. You know. Um. Anyway, uh, oh geez, enough, oh, enough with Nick Cage. Well, see, he has in a way the, the, this movie he just did called Dream Scenario got a lot of good buzz, at, you know, for him as an actor. And some people might thought he might have he was a lo- um, it was a long shot, but thought he might get an Oscar nomination for that, but he didn't. Um, was that the one with Robert Duvall? I think Robert Duvall played the judge or whatever. I kind of remember so many movies. That movie. So many movies, so little time. So many records, so yeah. little time. So many live streams, <laughs> so little time. Yeah. How about no live streams for, yeah. for months so I can watch some movies? <laughs> yeah, you might have a point. Yeah, Kevin Spacey might not be the only, might be the only one that might not be making a comeback anytime oh, soon. Yeah. I never really liked him in anything, to tell you the truth. Uh, well, there was a movie. What was the movie where he played a asshole boss or something? Uh, can't remember the name. Oh, he was great. No, it was Glenn Gary Glenn Ross. No, that wasn't the movie I was thinking of, but I didn't see that. But he yet. was an asshole in that one. Yeah, he's in everything you come to think of. It. He's in Fred Claus. <laughs> he's in. He's in it. No, but this was another one. They're talking about <laughs> getting a paper cut on your tongue or something. What the hell was that? I, uh, oh. I don't know. Like Horrible them. bosses. I don't know if that was it. Horrible bosses, maybe. Of course, the the usual suspects. He's good. In yeah, that. that's yeah, that's he's great yeah. in that. Yeah. And then, um, what was that movie called? Seven. Oh, he was really good. In, I liked yeah. K Pack. I might be that the only wasn't, one. That was no. I thought that was an okay little movie with him and Jeff yeah. Bridges. Yeah. yeah, and you because you were never sure if he was actually an yeah. air, alien or not. This you might never, be the one I'm thinking of. You were never yeah, sure. yeah, he was an asshole boss and was swimming with sharks. Yeah, yeah. Good on you, Henry. Henry, wow, you coming through, man? Yeah. Just don't talk about The Shining. <laughs> or <laughs> Taxi Man. Driver. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, I I bought the you know the Shining's in there. You know, I bought the Shining. I'm going to give oh, it another you? another open minded, really good view, and we're going to have to have Henry here for that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, whatever it is, I don't care. On an award show, you don't smack anybody in the in the in the head. Yeah, whatever you did. Yeah, well, I know what Tim's thinks of this, so there's not a you know here we go. Well, I've only seen season one. For the last couple of years, and it was way better than I remembered it. I enjoyed it. I liked it, actually. I was like, I didn't think this show was as good. You know, it it's hard to say this, to admit, to admit this, but, you know, a lot of what I like, first of all, is nostalgia-driven, but some of these cop shows from the 70s, now when you watch them, they're really 
Corny. They don't hold up. Oh, not, well, something's off about them yeah. or something. Kojak wasn't. That's what I expected Kojak just to be dull. And, you know, because the cool thing about Kojak is he doesn't start out with the lollipop. You know, that comes later. He's a chronic smoker. And he starts sticking a lollipop in his mouth to try to cut down on cigarettes. And that's where it comes from. And that, but, you know, that adds a lot to his character, you know. Um, but I'm I'm hearing a lot of great things from people about Colombo, 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 Colombo. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I you know, I, I really almost want to try that out. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. It's a cha- Kino Lorber is putting out the, Kino Lorber is putting out the big box set of the Colombo stuff. Yeah, I, I think somebody. Yeah. I, what's his name? Is a guy I watch sometime. He has a live movie talk show every Saturday at two p.m. Mm-hmm. He's uh, Dave Cinema Dave, and he's always going okay. on about Columbo. And uh, I think he has this. Are you sure it's not out already? I think he might have that already. Just one more thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And mm-hmm. I don't. Yeah, what it takes, you have to really get in. You have to really love the character. And I'm trying this with all these shows, Rockford Files. I'm looking a little bit. And I wondering. love Rockford Files. I watch you know, all I just five can't seasons get, of that. It you know, just I'm, doesn't. I, I can't get into it. I, I loved it, and I've I'd forgotten, over, you know, over the years that you know that's where Lindsay Wagner came from. She was a semi regular on the Rockford Files, and that's where the Bionic Woman came. From. Yeah, I think is Barfly it, is a pretty underrated Mickey Rourke film. Is that Faye Dunaway? You know? Faye Dunaway and Mickey Rourke, yeah. yeah I might have seen that in movies. I, I haven't seen ever it. seen it, believe it or not. Yeah. I remember when it came out. I don't like Dragnet, no. Dragnet, the movie, uh, the, the movie uh, was uh, terrible. Oh, the TV, and, yeah, but sure I, I don't like Yeah, but I've never watched the well, TV the show. The 60s series, it got good towards the mid-60s when they started doing drug busts and stuff. It got much better than <laughs> it was in the 50s when they were just, you know, I think I want to see those. Of, I mean, the, the the one everybody knows is David Cassidy is Blue Boy, and he's a drug dealer. And it's his first major role, and he the gets only, busted no. by Joe Friday. <laughs> the only ones I ever see are the later ones, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't better know. Better than the early me. ones, trust me. The early ones are literally just routine police shows, and that's it. You know, there's nothing exciting about them at all. What about Cuckoo's Nest? It's one of my favorite films of all. I haven't yeah, seen it Cuckoo's Nest is great. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, but it's good. Uh, well, Leonardo DiCaprio, please. Well, look, I mean, Nick Cage did all that stuff to, you know, pay off his his taxes, you know, his, his tax issues, you know. Um, exactly. I mean, he could have done it, you know, he could have done it, I guess. Uh, by just doing a lot of roles, but I mean that was quick money. I mean those, those straight to videos, you know that, that's fast money right there. So I mean there's yeah. a reason why he did it. So he just didn't do it just to do it. One Adam Twelve. See the man. <laughs> that's my favorite. See the man. <laughs> it's never a woman. No. They're never seeing a woman. It's always see the man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I don't like Car 54 where are you? I love the monsters, but I just couldn't get into that. That that's one of my other favorite television things. E- emergency. How many times did those two guys go out with and, and save somebody's life who had a heart attack, right? But it was always a woman because or a man. Because the first thing they would do is rip open their shirt and put the thing on there. So it wouldn't Yeah, wouldn't, you can't do that with a woman. On television. <laughs> a woman never had a heart attack on television. It was always a man. <laughs> Yeah, well, this is these shows have gotten better lately. I think the West two are pretty good. You know, we're talking about stuff other than Jaws and Rocky. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah, David Soul. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he, what was that he big just, hit that he had? He just passed. Don't give don't up give on up. us, baby. Don't give yeah, up, don't on, give up on, us, on us, baby. baby. We yeah. can I'll take the song. Get <laughs> I'd rather listen to that than watch Starsky and Hutch, but who knows? That's that's just me. That that's the other great thing about and it was it was Starsky and Hutch did it best. But every opening of a of a 
um, cop show in the 70s. For some reason, there's always an alley with a huge pile of stacked empty boxes for a car to run through. In every single opening of ever in the Starsky and Hutch, I think there was two or three in their opening. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure this guy wants me to do my imitation of Sean C. Phillips. Here I go. Hi, everybody. Sean C. Phillips here to tell you I just got the complete bonanza in the mail today. Into Target (laughs) we go. (laughs) Um, Yeah, it's a little joke we got. That's why he calls himself Sean C. Phillips over Sean C. Phillips. Okay. Okay. Oh boy, by the uh, Bob Dylan biopic. Yeah. yeah, we'll see. There's already been one. It's called "I'm Not Here." I'll yeah. take that one. The two mutiny on the <laughs> yeah. bounty. Yeah, the, the, you had the you, you had the uh, Charles Lawton. The, Charles Lawton one, then you had the Gregory you had Peck. The Brando, no, the Marlon Brando one, and then Brando. um, and then the bounty was the '80s with Mel Gibson. Oh. And Anthony Hopkins, I think. I remember seeing the Charles Lawton mm-hmm. one, and I think, and you know, again, I'm never, yeah. I'm never a person to say, "Oh, that old acting, that old style acting." Oh, I, I love old style acting. I love old movies. Mm-hmm. For some reason, I remember him in there was too much for me. Charles, Charles Lawton. Yeah, that Charles one, Lawton. Yeah, that's Clark Gable too. I think it was, if I remember correctly. Clark Gable. I don't remember. It's been a while. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think the Rifleman I like. I think I, I see the Rifleman on TV. Some to Chuck Connors. I like that. He could, it's on twenty four seven on Pluto. Anytime you want to watch the <laughs> Rifleman, there it is. <laughs> you know the one that well, I need. To, uh, I hope comes out on Blu-ray was the one with Steve McQueen, the TV show that he did. Um, I oh. had the DVD of that show. Uh, I'm forgetting the name of it. Something right now. with Low um, Wanted that is not one. Uh, Wanted dead or alive, I think. That is that's what I was yeah. thinking. Yeah. yeah, yeah, wanted dead or alive. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's so much stuff, you know. It's like wow, you know. Yeah. You want forever. Oh, that's it's... another movie I watched. I forgot to grab that one. I watched. Um... That's what. That's what streaming services should be doing. Like NBC should have its own streaming service just for the shows that it had, you know, in its history. Same with like CBS and ABC. I mean, if they're not going to release them on physical media. Uh, even if the show only lasted two episodes, you know, you know, people want, want to see those, uh, you know, a lot of those old TV shows. Anybody have anything to say about Mad Max Lethal Weapon? Yeah, the 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 Mad Max, uh, the new one coming out this year uh, is kind of like a prequel to the one from like four or five years ago when it came out. Looks really good. The, I saw the trailer again for it today when I was at the theater. I saw I saw Lethal Weapon one and two. Don't remember much except George Harrison's yeah. Cheer Down. Cheer Down. Yeah. Yeah. But I, but I remember thinking like you know when I first heard that Mel Gibson didn't speak that way like the, he's Australian. Yeah. Right? I was yeah. like what a shock! Like I didn't know. I thought he was like a typical American the way he was in that movie or whatever. Um, I, uh, I remember I didn't see the first Mad Max at the time, but I saw Beyond Thunderdome, and I remember I had such a headache when I left that movie. I walked out and said to whoever I went it with, went just as a joke, I said, "That's the second dustiest movie I've ever seen." I don't know what the first would have been, but it was just nothing but a cloud of dust for two hours. I'm like, oh, right. I, I love to see yeah, things. I, yeah, I saw the second one, Road Warrior or Mad Max Two. I saw yeah. that one first. Okay, and, um, yeah, okay. So I saw the yeah. third one then. Beyond Thunderdome yeah. was the first one that I saw, and I was just like, I was so glad when it went to the arena and the dust went away. I was like, at least I can see what's mm. going on now. <laughs> yeah. So anybody notice this? Come on, man. Keep up. Yeah. Rest of the comments. Um. Uh, um. I don't. I. It's an observation. Let's put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I guess you can say that when you know, uh, you, you know, Harrison Ford in in Raiders of the Lost Ark, um, you know, yeah. Rocky. Yeah. I guess uh, chickens and live and chase scenes yeah. with a truck with chicken crates. British movie called Scum, like a violent cuckoo's nest. No, no, no. 
What will you guys do when they stop producing HD Blu-ray discs? They're prob- pro- for cry, me, cry. <laughs> they'll cry. probably be. You know, I got. I, I, there's not much movies I want anymore. Well, I really, won't. You know? I won't be alive when that happens, so I'm not worried about it. It's. Well, it's. Listen. It's still gonna. Probably. As long as these <laughs> boutique companies still stay alive, you know, the Kinos, the Criterions, the Arrows. Yes. Severin, you know, stuff like that. As long yeah, as they and, keep producing, um, you know, the, movies, they're, they're not keep, going they'll, anywhere. they'll still be there. In yeah. fact, I got a feeling yeah. when they tally the sales, Blu-ray and DVD and 4K are going to be up over last year. I would be shocked I think, if they're not. I think, yeah, I think, you know, the word's getting out about the streaming, you know, yeah. you know, yeah. people now realize that if their favorite movie is on Netflix, it's not going to be there forever. That's right. Yeah. You know, so um, I think people are going to start getting back into physical media. And I, I think you're going to start slowly that. start seeing sales. They already come are. Up. They already are. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and they're also realizing that they're subscribed to like a dozen cable systems or streaming systems that are costing them as much or more than cable. Right. Listen, Netflix is raising their prices again yeah. this year. Yeah. So, it, 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 it. I, and, and plus these companies, most of the streaming companies are operating at a loss and they're not going to, they can't yeah. sustain that well, because they're so, producing They're because they're producing new material. And yeah. you know, and then subscribing, you know, doing a five ninety nine subscription is not going to, you know, generate a lot of money. That's why you see, like, you know, Netflix and others, they're starting to add, they're starting to add an ad free or or you know, a subscription where with ads to it, you know, and that's where mm-hmm. they want you to go. And, I mean, even Disney's been capitulating and putting things out on right. video that said we're not going to put this. Yeah, they out started video. release. Yeah, yeah. You yeah know, they there started it is. stuff on because Blu-ray they, again. Yeah, they need to raise some money. You know, because they're, yeah. they're, they're you know, and they're that's talking about continue. the studios make so much money. They're talking about the Lion King. Okay, from starting with VHS, DVD, Blu-ray, and HK. But all, between all those year, years have made has made over eight hundred million dollars just just that one movie after its theatrical release, which is more than it made during its theatrical run. Eight hundred over eight hundred and fifty million dollars the Lion King has made just from yeah. physical releases. Yeah, yeah physical it, media it, is gonna it, get a comeback, it, I think. Yeah. It's not gonna stop. It, it, and, it, and I'll take it another step further. I think there's gonna come a time when not right now. It's going to be more in store stuff. It's not going to all be online. I think eventually people, people eventually. like to shop, people like to browse, people like to. Well, yeah. I think eventually, I think one day, here's what I think will happen um, our postal rates are going to meet those of the rest of the world one day. They are artificially cheap right now, and I don't think they will always be. And when that happens, stores are going to come back. Because, you know, if you're paying everything you buy at a store is now going to cost you 12 to 15 bucks to ship it. You know. That's yeah. So I bought, I bought, um, I think it's from Severin or I forgot which one it was. Where, but, but I bought a David Cronenberger film called uh, Extensions. Uh, I think it's from the 90s. Uh, but it's the HK or it's the, I'm sorry, HDK Blu-ray edition. It was like, I think I got it like for $29. And or no, sorry, thirty four dollars, but with tax and shipping, it ended up with going up to like forty four dollars altogether for one yeah. one freaking film. Yeah, you know that's that's the thing, and you know uh, all all they all the post office would have to do is go. Oh, guess what? We're not going to do media rate anymore. And already you'll see more places stocking DVDs because already that will you know. You, suddenly it costs you 12 bucks to ship a DVD instead of four. That's, that's yeah. big. I, that's I, I, yeah. I heard Second Sight is a fantastic film distributor, and they put out um, you know good quality. Um, they do good work with their restorations. Um, yeah, I didn't even hear. So I, don't I, think need, I even know what I'm no, no Yeah, I think they're from the UK. I think the Second Sight is from the UK. But um, as far as Hammer, Hammer and Amicus, some of my favorite types of horror movies i don't really i'm lost with those i don't know i've got so many different copies from different companies i don't know what i have i even have some that are other uh, what do you call it other regions 
which I don't no longer have a region free player. I guess I could get one, but I yeah. don't want to get into that. I want everything to play on one machine. I don't want to get into that. Oh, I can only play this on the other, on a, you know, a, a region free player. Um, anyway, I, I don't know. I got to look more into that stuff. There's so many movies I got to look at. But I'm telling you, a, a bunch of times I've been watching DVDs lately. I mean, when I have to, when I don't have, you know, the Blu ray. And it looks great to me. I got to say, a lot of them, not all of them, some of the early, early ones don't. But yeah. I have that that little thing I'm doing that nobody likes, but I don't even like either. I have that judder up to three or four, and that makes a big difference mm. to me. That's my smoothing effect. I freaking love it. It right, takes those right. freaking DVDs and it makes them look clear. And it, but it doesn't have the soap opera effect. You know, I won't watch it. I'm not. I don't want it to look live. You know, I don't want it to look like a soap opera. But if you take that, it goes exactly. to ten. I feel like Spinal Tap. It goes to ten, but if you put the judder on three or four, it's just enough. It doesn't get up to the point where it looks like artificial live TV, but it really makes everything look clearer to me. Anyway, Samsung. <laughs> okay. I want to. I kind of like want to stop this now, actually, because it's ninety yeah. minutes. But um, yeah. this was really great, and I hope you'll you'll all come back. I appreciate everybody for being here, asking some great questions. Yeah, this is a, a good one. A lot of good talks. This is really cool. Tom, are you usually okay? I mean, that's what I, what I was asking you once. Um, okay with Wednesdays? Wednesdays for the most part. Yeah, Maybe what, not every yeah. Wednesday. Wednesdays. No, yeah. No, Wednesdays right now is the perfect time for me. All right, we can always work it. And I know, like I said, no, nobody has to come on every show. If you can't make it, you can't make right. it. Right. But um, you know, I I I wanted to pick a good night for everybody. You know, and I think Wednesday's pretty good. So yep. a lot of stuff uh, I might want to talk about here. Give Columbo a chance. Uh, but anyway, thank you everybody for being here. We'll do it again, hopefully next week, same time, same channel. See yep. you all.